and uh, the State of the Nation address, part of the focus uh, most uh, definitely, without a doubt, it has to do also with the revival of the economy. The President, that is one area that he most certainly is going to touch on. Remember, uh, we keep repeating this to you, that the President, uh, or should we say the country, has not uh, seen the kind of um, economic uh, calamity that we are in right now simply because of the global pandemic that is COVID-19. Before that, there was an economy that was on junk status. Why am I telling you all of this? That is that early this morning as I was reading and uh, doing some research, I came across information that in the period between 2008 and 2019, the debt to GDP ratio had risen 35 percentage points. That means the debt to GDP has ballooned that much between 2008, where it stood at 27%, to 2019 at 62%. That means our debt is so big that just in one year, we are paying upwards of 300 billion rand per year just servicing the debt. And the reason I'm giving you all of this detail is because I have with me the Minister of Human Settlements, Mamlogo Kubai, who is going to talk to us about whether or not delivering free housing to needy South Africans. These are South Africans that would not have had a place to call home not because of their own doing, but because they simply don't have the means. And so it is considered social spending. But how much more can we still afford, Minister, with the figures I have just given? Yeah, greetings to the viewers. Um, look, the issue of regarding a give, uh, like provision of human settlements or a house and as a social spending, I think we need to change that. Because a, a property is an economic activity in the hands of a, in the hand of a South African. So the issue of even our banks and everyone not being able to value. You know that even in the rural areas you have people complaining that when you, they value their properties, yeah. um, they are valued not at the right level because of where they are. So those are some of the things that we've got to address so that properties like any other property, is seen as an economic asset in the hands of a South African. And that's why provision of a house should not only be seen as a burden to the state, but also as giving a person an economic opportunity that, for example, if I have a house with correct bylaws in a city and the regulations, I can be able to generate an income and not become a burden to the state. Minister, then there is the issue of corruption that has become endemic into the South, South, South African society. More so in the public sector, some people might say that's unfair given what we know today of corruption that is partly induced by those in the private sector. What are you doing to deal decisively with corruption in the social housing space? Look, remember in terms of um, what we do, it has to be a joint effort. So our responsibility as human settlements is that where we find wrongdoing, we have to report. Um, you'd know that there's been progress. For example, when I got into the portfolio, we started wanting to understand why there's so many projects that are not completed in the country. There are two cases in human settlements that are currently before court that relates to the asbestos, that relates to... Um, the bulk um, material buying, uh, which was worth one billion, one HOD has been has been convicted. Um, whether other people are not happy because it was almost like a bargain process, but it is progress. The Dalana case during SIU investigation, officials have been dismissed. Uh, the, co the company that is responsible is currently in court. We are recovering money. So there is action that we are taking where there is valid information that we are provided. The fusion center that has been set up by government has actually provided a good opportunity. And one of the things we, that we are looking at, even from the economic cluster in my capacity as chair of the economic cluster, is to look at starting to say, 
can we have commercial crimes just specifically dealing with some of the things that we would consider as economic activity sabotage that are fast tracked because we do understand the patience is running out from South Africans where they're saying yes we see you opening cases yes we see people being charged but this case is dragged forever yeah. and remember from our side as the executive as government we do not have authority over that because otherwise once you start jumping and saying to a judge fast track this it's seen as an interference yeah. so but what we can do is to provide capacity and that's what Minister of Justice is doing to look at the capacities at national process executing authority to providing necessary resources and we are paying attention to that and one of the things that we are having conversations is to say how do we equip police how do we ensure that in from a budget point of view um, are there things that we need to do and Minister of um, Finance will be able to talk into that in detail so there's a holistic look into how do we ensure that the state responds correctly and the reports that have been issued to state are actually challenging us to start moving faster yeah minister I've got less than a minute left. I want to take back the conversation to where we began. You said you wanted to change the provision of housing from a social spending perspective or lens to an investment spend. I seem to remember a time, and I think it was by one of your predecessors, where it was suggested, and I use the word very carefully, suggested that the provision of free housing might not be something that is here for eternity. At some point, it's got to come to a stop. Is there a time frame? Is there some kind of policy that we're driving towards that is going to inch towards that? No, we are looking at that. But the issue is it can be completely gone. Because constitutionally, we have an obligation as a state to provide a shelter to a destitute person. So if you are talking about senior citizens, child-headed households, for example, disabled people, those will remain the categories that, for example, going forward, will have to sustain in terms of our discussion and what we are looking at. What we are more interested as the Department of Human Settlement going forward is to be able to increase the level of provision of service sites. So we give you a site with all the infrastructure like water, electricity, and sanitation, that's what we are looking at, and reduce more in terms of the RDP, PNG, RDP, because what we are learning is that many, most of the people, their communities where I've gone, being here, they were once RDPs, they are no longer there. So it tells you that people did not need the RDP, they actually needed the land and the service sites, and that's what we want to start moving towards and increasing that side. But again, there's an opportunity, people don't know that we do cover for what you'd call missing middle in terms of low-cost housing and low-cost renter. Yeah. If you go to urban areas, for example, and you don't need to have an RDP, but you don't have to stay in a shed, you can rent in terms of the social apartments that we are subsidizing at government and want to increase that because we understand that they will respond to the urban development and urban growth that we are seeing. Timelines? moving towards look the program is already there in terms of the social housing we are going to increase it um, and that's why we're looking at the rapid release of land i've been having conversations with the provinces for example you have seen this week um, in terms of cape town specifically i had to write to the mayor to say they can't auction particular parcels of land because we are identifying them for social housing and the mayor is agreed they're withdrawing those land and we are going to develop um, social housing. These are houses that people will be able to rent. Who are coming from other provinces are here for work, and that's an opportunity that we are providing. All right, Mamloko Kubai, thank you very much. The Minister for Human Settlements just giving us a picture of where her department is going.